Hello everybody, it's Barbara Sims. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another renovation video. Today we are renovating this colonial home called Umbridge Manor. It is in Willow Creek and it is three bedrooms and two bathrooms. Um, I had a lot of fun renovating this house. I've actually wanted to renovate this one for quite a while um, and I finally got around to doing it. I was going to do it as the last renovation but for whatever reason that day I just really didn't feel like renovating a big house like this uh, which is why I ended up doing that little little bitty starter but today I was just like you know what yes we are going to tackle this we're going to renovate this house because I wanted to do it for so long and I loved it I had a lot of fun renovating every single room I think the part that I enjoyed the most was the landscaping which you will see towards the end of the video but it's a lot of landscaping and um I actually feel like it turned out nice like I didn't want it to look too busy but I wanted to because before I renovated it like as you can kind of see here and there the house had a lot of landscaping going on and so I kind of wanted to keep it with a lot um, but I wanted it to better represent the colors I used throughout the house and just kind of I don't know flow better um, and I really like the way the landscaping turned out it's a lot of landscaping it took me a while but I'm so happy with it um, yeah this house is really beautiful and I'm so glad that I finally got around to actually renovating it um, I think it's such a fun little house there is um, like a master bedroom a toddler room and then the other bedroom I kind of envisioned it being like a teenage boy room uh, you'll see once I finish it later, uh, it definitely, to me at least, feels like a teen boy room, which I love. So yeah, I hope you guys like this renovation as well. Obviously, we just started it, but <laughs> as we get further into it, I hope you guys like it because I love it. I think it's so fun. Ugh, what am I even rambling about anymore? I just love this house. I don't know. I think it's so beautiful. So beautiful, and it's very... I don't know, I feel like it's not too different from the regular styles of houses that I build, but it's also not just like the same as everything I ever do on my channel, you know? Um, which I really, really liked because it was close enough to the way I usually decorate houses that I didn't feel like I have no idea what I'm doing. Like with the last build, it was in Oasis Springs, uh, and I feel like the houses in Oasis Springs are a lot more modern, and I'm just not a modern builder, like I'm sorry. But I'm just not, like I just don't do modern builds and I'm, I feel like I'm not very good at it, like I just don't know how. Because there's not a lot of modern houses where I live, so it's kind of like I'm not exposed to that style of house very often. Like the houses where I live are more traditional, especially because the neighborhood that I live in is one of the oldest neighborhoods in the city I live in. So. I'm just more used to that kind of traditional style of furnishing in houses and so that's kind of like my niche almost I want to say um, but yeah I don't know <laughs> so last week's last week's last renovation I don't know how long ago it was but it was pretty different from my regular style and I felt like this one was a lot closer to home for me which I really loved really appreciated that about this build yeah it's uh it's fun it's a it's a fun it's a good fun build and i'm so excited about it um i love doing these renovations because i feel like it exposes me to some kind of new styles of decorating and building and floor plans that i don't normally explore you know usually when i do builds i kind of stick to the same um stuff really uh, and I kind of feel like I shouldn't do that like I I want to branch out more I think that that would be uh, really awesome but I just never really have the inspiration to do it and I feel like doing these renovations really helps me with that um, because I get exposed to a whole bunch of new styles new techniques you know seeing the way that other people do their builds and whatever it it's really helpful for me so I love doing renovations. If you've never renovated a house before in The Sims, I totally recommend giving it a try because it's so much fun and I adore this series. I know it was gone for a while, but I'm very excited to be bringing it back soon. Right now, I'm kind of just doing renovations whenever I don't really have anything else to do. Like today, I was going to do a current household update today, 
but my current household is not in the spot that I want it to be for the update. So um, it'll be a while before you get that. Probably another week. And then after I do a current household update, I'm also almost ready for another Not So Berry update, um, which is so exciting. I love the Not So Berry Challenge. Oh my goodness, if you don't know what I'm talking about, the Not So Berry Challenge is a 10 generation legacy challenge and it's so fun. I've been playing through it on my own. I don't have a Let's Play series on it or anything like that. Just been playing it in my own personal gameplay, but I have been updating you guys on my progress through somewhat monthly <laughs> update videos, which has been a lot of fun. I can link my Not So Berry playlist down below if you want to check that out. Um, I have builds in there as well as update videos and even one create a sim <laughs> if that's your speed. So yeah, it's... Um, it's a grand old time. It's a really fun challenge. You should totally check it out if you haven't already, but literally everyone who's anyone knows about the challenge, so I'm, you know, I feel like there's a pretty good chance you already know about it. <laughs> uh, it's pretty big. It's, yeah. But anyway, uh, yeah, check that out if you want to. Um, there should be some new updates coming up next week and the week after, hopefully. Um, I get around to playing them. I took like a pretty big break. I think I talked about this in the last video. I did a voiceover before. I took a bit of a break from filming and I did play my Not So Berry Challenge a lot during that break I took from filming. Um, I did not play my current household as much. Um, my current household's kind of at like a standstill right now, but I finally got the kind of storyline idea in my head of how I'm gonna break out of this rut I'm in with it and uh, I'm really, really excited about it, actually. So, yeah, um, you'll hear all about it in my next update, which is gonna be so swell. <laughs> um, I've actually been playing this current household for two years now, which is insane. Like, that's crazy. Like, when I tell you guys that when I start a household, I stick with it, that is how much I mean it. I've been playing this family for two years. That's crazy. Like, I started it before I started my YouTube channel, which um, will have actually hit its two-year when by the time you've seen this video. So I've also been on this YouTube channel for two years. But yeah, um, that household's insane. I don't even know. I think I'm on the fifth generation with it uh, right now. I'm pretty sure. And it's pretty awesome. If you want to check out my current household, I'll leave that playlist linked down below also. Um, because it's super fun. I don't know. I love that household so much. And, um, I don't know. Like, I obviously I love them. I've been playing them for two years. Which I think is the longest that I've ever played a household in The Sims. Um, in The Sims 3, I did have quite a few long-going current households, but I don't think they were ever two years. Um, I think this is the longest family that I've had running, which is really awesome to me. <laughs> like, that's so exciting. Wowza. <laughs> I've been playing them for a long time. A very long time. And I love them very much. Um, I'm very attached to them. <laughs> like, really attached to them. I think they're such a fun little family. Aww. Mm, I'm like sad now <laughs> that I've realized it's been so long. Hmm. Hmm. I love them. Uh, yeah, totally go check out my videos on them if you're interested because they're pretty awesome. They're a pretty awesome household. It's been a long time. <laughs> Actually, the, the my favorite part about that save is I started out with two sims, Katie and Derek. Katie, you know, passed away. She's long dead. But Derek is still alive somehow. Well, I don't know. <laughs> It's kind of weird because he just kind of never died. Like, and it was really weird to me because I was like, I don't understand how he's literally still alive. But then he ended up becoming a vampire. So now it makes sense that he's still alive. But for a long time, he like wasn't a vampire or anything. Vampire's game pack hadn't even come out or anything. But he just like lived forever. And it was so weird. He also has like 11 kids, but it's fine. <laughs> We don't worry about that. Um, yeah, he just, like, he was one of the sims I started with, and he's still alive. And it's really crazy to me that he's still around after all this time. 
Derek is just still kicking. I remember creating him. I remember I was so in love with him. I was like, oh my god, he's so hot. He's so good looking. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> he is still a good looking sim. He's an elder now. A vampire elder. But he's still, he's still got it, you know? <laughs> oh yeah. Wow. That's a good household. <laughs> I love that household. I can't wait to update you guys on it again because there's some pretty exciting stuff that's been going on. I'm very happy about it. Um, I'm actually really surprised that I haven't started a new current household yet. I've thought about it, but I'm just so attached to them that I just haven't. I just can't bring myself to abandon them. I love them too much. <laughs> uh, it's fine. But yeah. Uh, there's that. Do you guys have any current households going on? I would love to hear about them. Or like, what's your longest running current household that you've ever played? I want to know. I'm so curious. Because I know a lot of people don't play households for that long. Like, I've seen a lot of people say, like, they've never had a sim die of old age because they never played their household long enough for that to happen. And I just think it's so funny how people are so different. Like, I, when I start a household, I play that household for the rest of eternity. But then there are some people who will start a household and then in, like, a week move on to the next. And I used to be like that. I used to, like, go through households like crazy. But now it's like I start one and I stick with it for the rest of my life. <laughs> like, one and done. That is my household. We're just rolling with it. So, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of crazy. And I've kind of been keeping that going in my Let's Plays as well. Um, like, reusing, like, once I finish a Let's Play, use that family again for another Let's Play just because I like to keep the families going and I don't want to stop playing them. But if I'm not doing them for a Let's Play, like, I'm not going to play them in my spare time really. So, yeah, that's, that's a thing. <laughs> that's a thing about me. Um... Mm hmm and yeah I don't know I didn't I never come into these with like a plan I used to I used to be like I'm gonna talk about these things and then I'd come in here and I'd talk about those things for my voiceover but lately I just haven't been I've just been winging it and honestly I don't think it's going well <laughs> like right now I'm kind of out of things to tell you about um which is cool I guess there's one thing I could tell you guys <laughs> It's kind of like a, a thing that like only my parents and my boyfriend know. But, okay, for those of you who don't know, I graduated high school in 2017. Um, and I took a year off. So this past year, I've just been working. I work part-time at a grocery store. And that's what I've been doing. Um, and next year, I actually just found out that I got accepted into university. So next year... Um, I'm taking on university and it's gonna be a grand old time. <laughs> um, I just found out that I got accepted. Um, the course that I'm taking, uh, you have to take a keyboarding test to get in and basically you have to have a minimum typing speed of 30 words per minute and a minimum accuracy of 96%. And um, so you have to like schedule the test and go to the university and do it. And so I had applied and then I got this little, you know, notification thing <laughs> from the school being like, hey, you have to do a typing test, so, like, d do it, because you have until March 30th, so, like, come on, girl. Uh, and so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll do the typing test. I did the typing test on the Friday, um, and then on the Monday, I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll check my application, like, not expecting anything to have happened, because, like, I just did the typing test, um, but I was like, I guess I'll just check it, just to see, and it was like, congratulations, <laughs> and I was like, oh, God, I'm, ah, so I got accepted to university, which was cool, I found out on the Friday, or on the Monday, and I told my parents on... I think Wednesday? What day is it today? It's Thursday. No, I told them on Tuesday. <laughs> uh, I told them on Tuesday that I got accepted. It was actually great because we were out for supper. It was just me and my parents at this like nice restaurant and I didn't know when to tell them. I was like, I don't know. I'm not good at like breaking news to people. I don't know what to do, but uh, I was basically going to wait until we had our food because I was like, I'll just wait until we eat because I was really hungry and I was like, if I don't eat first, like who knows what I'll say. I don't know. <laughs> so 
So I was like, I'm going to wait till we get our food and then I'll do it. So we got our food and I was like, okay, we have our food. Now I have to tell them. <laughs> and I don't know why I was so nervous about telling them. Like, it's good news. But I was like, okay, it's time. It's time to tell them. So I, you know, finished my bite of my pasta and I was like, well, I have something to tell you guys. And the looks on their faces when I said that, they, like, I could just see the panic in their eyes. <laughs> Like, they thought I was going to say I'm pregnant or something. And I just kind of, like, left it for a couple seconds because, like, I could see the look on their faces. And I was just like, I'm going to just let this moment soak in because I'm enjoying this. And then my dad was just like, okay, what? <laughs> and I was like, I got into university. And then everyone was happy. And they were like, girl, don't, don't break news like that to us anymore. <laughs> like, our poor hearts can't take it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to university next year now, so that'll be fun. I don't know what that means for videos. Uh, the university course that I'm taking is like a year. So, um, it's only a year and then I'll be working full time hopefully, which will be good. But I don't know if videos are going to continue to be daily, uh, once I'm in university because I'll be in university plus working a part time job plus being a daily YouTuber, like, I don't know. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know if I'll be able to find time for it. I might just upload five days a week instead of seven. <laughs> um, we'll have to see, but yeah, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out when it comes. So yeah, in fall, I'll be going to university. Isn't that fun? And I don't know why, I'm just like scared to tell people. <laughs> Like, I didn't even tell anyone I applied to university because I didn't want to have to, like, be like, oh, yeah, I applied to university and then not get in. And then the next time I see them, they're like, oh, look, what's going on with university? And me have to just awkwardly be like, I didn't get in. So I just didn't tell anyone I applied. And when they ask, like, what my plans are, I'd just be like, I don't know. Even though I do know, I'm just not going to tell you that I know because I don't want embarrassment, okay? So, yeah, like, no one even knows that I applied. So, like, I could just not tell anyone. <laughs> They just never know. Um, but I don't know. I don't know when to tell people. I don't know. It's all stressful, but that's fine. Um, I'm done with the build. I'm just doing some lighting stuff now. I hope you guys like the landscaping. Let me know what you think of the landscaping because I'm kind of unsure about it. But anyway, on that note, I am going to go ahead and go. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you all enjoyed this uh, renovation video. I hope you're all having a super amazing day, and I will see you in my very next video. Bye, guys.